Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new feature in Yosemite called Flyover. I'm actually running it in New York right now, as you can see, and you kind of get this aerial view as if you were flying on a plane, and it comes in very close to the buildings, as you can see here, and actually tells you what you're looking at right here. So you can basically take a tour of almost any city in the world. Uh, there's, they're not available for every single one, but there's quite a lot of them that are available, and I've compiled a list of the ones I've tested right here on the left side, and most of them will work over here. So there are some that have landmarks, there's others that have the full city tour, like we're viewing now of New York, and there's the Empire State Building, and it's really easy to access. So let's get started. How do you get to do this? Well, the first thing that you need to do is you go to your um, app go menu and go to your applications and look for an application called maps once you open up the maps application all you'd have to do is put in the word New York London England or the Rome the Colosseum in Rome which is a landmark some of them do work with landmarks I have found that um, there's some that work some that don't so you'll have to try them out and test what will work for you um, I'm going to copy the Rome Coliseum one, just the way it's written here. Hit return. And this is what you see when you first get started. You click on this little eye over here, and it will show over something called Flyover Tour. Click on that, and there you're getting started. So let's take a look together at the Coliseum in Rome. It's really wonderful. Let's now take a look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Here we go. And again, now you see the little eye, but you also see this item down here called 3D Flyover Tour. Hit Start. And there's the Golden Gate Bridge in California. So that's fun. A really cool one that I noticed is that Apple put in their own headquarters in Cupertino. So let's go ahead and put that one in and hit return. And as you can see, it also came up with these items for directions. And let's do flyover tour. And here we go. And that's actual Apple's headquarters in Cupertino. Now I've actually visited uh, this location and it does look just like that, so it is the accurate version. They actually have lunch out in the back area over here. So if you ever wanted to know where the original headquarters for Apple Computer is, you can take a little tour. Now, let's try a different one. Let's try London, England. And again, we're going to hit the little I here and click Flyover Tour. There we go. Let's take a little trip to England. Now, as you can see, that's Buckingham Palace down here. If you want to be really cool, hit the option and escape key. 3D Flyover Tour. And it will read whatever's in that area if you have speakable items on. As far as the music, I just have some classical music playing in the background. 3D Flyover Tour, Westminster Abbey. I think that's where the king and queen get married. Three D Flyover Tour, Elizabeth Tower, Big Ben. So as you can see, it's quite a lot of fun just to kind of take these tours. Now, let's try a different one. Let's try Barcelona, Spain. See what comes up. And here we go. And this one you can see down here also has the option to start it from here. We're gonna do that one. And there it goes. Here is Barcelona, Spain.
3D Flower Batua, Sagrada Familia. So all of these items are really easy to access, and once you click end, that ends the tour. If you click on the minus sign over here, and you keep clicking the minus sign, I also found this kind of cool. It really brings you all the way back, and you can see the globe, and you can actually rotate it and see what the sun is uh, on which side of the world, which is really cool. So as you can see, uh, the 3D flyover tool is really easy to use. It's already built into your computer, and I've prepared all of these for you to try out. So hope you enjoyed learning about 3D flyover on the Mac. And if you like the video, click uh, like and subscribe to the channel for more tips. Thanks for listening.